Hello and welcome to TWTV's new cooking show, Sliced, where four contestants battle it, battle it out for the grand prize, this frying pan. Now let's see how they're doing. First, first up, Mr. Cole's Blittermouth. Hi, I absolutely love it here. I work part time at a hobby shop, and I think that my cooking career could be springboarded forward when I win this show. And yes, cooking is spelled with two K's, not two C's, like all those fools. Mr. Brian Johnson. Hello, my name is Bob Murray. Most people call me Grish Monkey, but I haven't cooked anything greasy in like two days. I don't care if I win or lose, but I just need to raid the pantry for the cooking stuff. And last, Mr. Mark Dumford. Yo, so, I think that I could be the next Slice Champion because I cook food for a living. Well, I don't actually cook the food, I just bring it to the customers. I currently work and live at the McDonald's. Yeah, they don't actually give me any money, but hey, I get to pick any burger I want for free. Winning would mean that I would have something to fill my pillow with that night. Welcome to the kitchen, chefs. This will be the most challenging thing you, any of you will have done in your lives. But before we get started, let's introduce the judges. Judge one, judge two, judge three. Uh, well, there you have it. Your first dish is going to be an appetizer. You have to use ranch, cat food, and refried beans. The judges will criticize you based on your taste, Appearance and create and your creativity. We have 40 minutes starting now. Wait, what's an appetizer? Stop, Audrey! I'm literally just throwing everything into the fryer and hoping for the best because you know simplicity always wins. It's a saying, right? So, judges, how do you think the chefs will handle this specially picked list of ingredients? I really Please. wasn't interested. I really have no idea what any of them could do. I mean, the best thing they could do is um, make a depressa type of dish. This is their only real option. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna serve everything separately. I'm gonna put the cat food in a bowl of milk, and I'm gonna leave the beans in the pot, and I'm gonna put the ranch in a serving container. All this dish is going to take is one spoon. Chefs, five minutes remaining. What? Five minutes? We just started cooking two minutes ago. <laughs> Wait, there was a time limit? That's a surprise. The only thing that could have been finished in, in the time that we were cooking was like a Big Mac. Oh, this is where we're still cooking. Still, we didn't have enough time. I think the host is cheating somehow. The stupid moron. Yep. Chefs, 30 seconds remaining. Okay, chefs, it's time to present your dishes. We'll start we'll start first with Cole. Can you please describe the dish here? Yeah, sure. It's um kind of squarish with some green stuff on the top that I didn't put there. And it's kind of No, can you Describe the food on the plate. Oh, well, it has some beans on the left, uh, some cat food on the right, and about half a bottle of ranch dressing smear in the middle. Here's a knife. It should be all you need to eat it. My knife. I really wasn't. Next up, Mr. Murray. First of all, I'd like to thank all you judges for giving me this great new pair of clothes and air conditioning ideas. Okay, so here I have. Um, fried, refried beans, so re-refried beans, a fried cat food, don't know how that works, and a condiment of fried ranch dressing. Hope you enjoy. Now we know why they call you Grease Bob. I think you went a little bit overboard with the fry there, Bob. I might suggest that you actually use a variety of cooking methods that make the food more um, edible. Mr. Brian Johnson. Okay, so at table three, there's cat food and a sauce made only from milk and ranch dressing. And there's the communal bean pot. Have at it. Well, I'll give you props for the beans. You're the only contestant who cooked them instead of just mangling them and mashing them into this weird pulp thing. 
But one question, what's this weird sludge? A sauce made only from milk and ranch dressing. Yes, how can we forget the ranch? Why'd you do it that way? That is sound logic if you know nothing of cooking or food. We'll take your word for it that it tastes good. Now, chefs, it's time for the judges to decide who will be sliced. If you will go into the waiting room at, until they decide. Bye. I will not accept any questions. Oh yeah, I totally think I'm gonna win this. Dude, that like it totally got the trend. Like, I think I did amazing. I think that grease really made them get high. I think I totally rocked this. I really have no idea how all the food tasted so bad. I give you four, which is okay. Oh, definitely. Bring them in. Okay, chefs. Now it's time to see who will be sliced. And that is... All of you. We all liked your dishes in an equal amount. They were all completely unedible. So we put, the, we put them in the one place they belong, the trash. In that, we decided to slice you all. Well, there you have it. Nobody wants to see Amazing Frying Pan. Uh, we hope to see you in future episodes. Wait, we were competing against each other? I thought we were preparing for a party. Oh. All of my non food foods are crushed. I don't think the judges tasted food as good as mine. And they still rejected it. Uh, can I turn on air conditioning out here?